Welcome back folks to a brand new video. After the Cyclades and Crete, the Ionian Islands are the most popular Greek island complex in Greece. It's located on the western side of the country and are strongly connected to Italy. So if you plan to visit, let's take a deeper look into some of the beautiful islands to visit in Greece. And before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it is free! Number 1. Corfu, Greece Corfu is one of the most beautiful places in the Ionian islands of Greece. From the lush green hills to the idyllic and popular Corfu beaches. This island literally has everything. Strongly influenced by the Venetians, the French and of course the English, Corfu town is a brilliant base for everyone to start their exploration. You'll see the glorious past of Corfu, from the imposing palaces, the noble mansions, beautiful museums and of course the charming squares in the centre. But moving away from Corfu town, you'll discover picturesque seaside villages. So if you manage to peel yourself away, move to the coasts of Corfu, where beautiful beaches are waiting. For example, Kaleo Kastritsa, which is arguably the most famous picturesque village of the island, is quite small but extremely known for its cold waters. Plenty of taverns and bars for you to relax. But there's a scenic view, a great scenic view, at a hilltop where there's a monastery. So don't forget to check that out. Number 2. Paxos. Paxos, or Paxi, there are so many different variations of the name, is the smallest of the major Ionian islands located just to the south of Corfu. It's very lush and green with several harbour towns and is known as one of the most beautiful small islands in Greece. The beaches are mostly pebble with crystal clear waters surrounded by pines and old olive groves. But the main town of Gaios or Yeos on the eastern side of the island is small and pretty with traditional Venetian and Ionian architecture and has quite a buzz in the summer as well as a good range of amenities for such a small place. Could be an interesting one for you for a holiday. Number 3. Antipaxos this island is 2 kilometers south of Paxos, famous for its dazzling white sand beaches which are often visited by tourist boats from both Corfu and Paxos. For example, Vrika is about 4 kilometers long and has a tiny population but no shops or amenities beyond a few tavernas by the beach. So anti-Paxos is relatively quiet but you can visit by water taxi from Paxos or using those excursion boats from Corfu. Lefkada. One of the most breathtaking Greek islands, located in the heart of the Ionian Sea, connected with the mainland by just a small bridge. Lefkada is a laid-back getaway, perfect for any traveller looking to catch a glimpse of that rural Greek island life. Now, as one of the larger enclaves in this archipelago, it has a sweeping inland of rugged mountains and high-perched villages. That's all surrounded by dense forests of either olive or cypress trees. But for many years, Lefkada has been an underdog of the Ionian Islands. 
it doesn't have the mass tourist resorts of Corfu or Zakynthos, or those picturesque harbour towns. But what it does have in spades is jaw-dropping cliff beaches. It's also one of the best destinations in Greece for water sports. Don't forget to check out the entire east coastline, which is a pretty series of hidden coves and tiny fishing villages with places such as Koto Katsiki. Zakynthos. The wonderful exotic Greek island, sitting in the heart of the mesmerizing Ionian Sea. It boasts a wonderful natural landscape and magical Zakynthos beaches. We have the scenic Navajo Shipwreck Cove. Many pictures and postcards have tried to capture its exact beauty. But the reality is far better. Only accessible by boat, it has magical turquoise waters, very white sand, and it's backed by dramatic towering cliffs. So while the view from the top is just amazing, you should also try to experience the beach area. But apart from the shipwreck cove, there are many other beaches in Zakynthos. Kithira A beautiful island located on the southern side of the Peloponnese. Although Kithira Island belongs to the Ionian Islands complex, it lies far from the rest of its Ionian neighbours, so it's rather one of the most secluded Greek islands. Its architecture is strongly influenced by the Venetians, who had ruled the island during the medieval age. But I think this place is perfect for those of you who just want to relax and take it all in. Next up is Ithaca or Ithaki. Famous all over the world as the home place of Odysseus, the mythical hero of Homer. Ithaki is an iconic island, but it's so much more than that. Its laid-back character, emerald waters, make it a top destination for those of you who love relaxation. But you can visit the capital of the island, Bathy which is home to the Maritime Museum as well as the Archaeological Museum of the island. Bathy is built on the bay in the centre, decorated by a tiny island. So if you're searching for something secluded, 
compared to all the other places in this video, then this could be a very promising option. So there you have it folks, located on the west side of Greece you have the islands along the Ionian Sea. Beautiful destinations such as Corfu and Lefkada, Sekynthos and of course Kefalonia. But there are other more secluded islands in Meganesi and Mathraki. So hopefully you get the opportunity to check those out the next time you visit the country. That's it from me, as always be good, be kind and be careful. Peace!